All right, and that means it's main event time. Oh, baby. And what a great main event we have here, likely for the number one contendership in this division. We got Max Holloway taking on Calvin Cater. Holloway, everybody knows this man, but, you know, he's coming off of a few championship losses to Volkanovski, both of them in decision. Uh, you know, he's likely itching to get another shot to get his title back. And this man is the real deal, man. His only other loss I, I, that I saw in the last seven years was against Dustin Poirier, who we're going to see fight Conor McGregor. So, you know, that's that's no slouch either. Uh, and look at who some of the guys he's taken down, man. Frankie Edgar, Jose Aldo twice, your boy Char Charles Oliveira. So, yeah, I, I, I know how you feel about this, man, for sure. Calvin Cater on the flip side, fighting out of Boston. He's looking for his title shot too, you know. Similar to Max, he only has a couple losses in the last 10 years. The two that I saw were to Moicano and to Zabit. I'm not even going to attempt how to say that last. Yeah, Mag <laughs> That's the one. What he said. What he said. <laughs> Mag Mag Magomic, <laughs> Yo, he's actually a phenomenal fighter. He, he's, he's one of the top rated fighters in, in the UFC. So Zabit. Oh, wow. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zabit is, is on the verge of superstardom. He, he beating Calvin Cater was his big law, uh, big win. He was supposed to fight Yair Rodriguez, but that fight fell through in August. Um, okay. So we, we, we're going to see him fight soon. So Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. You got to learn how to I say mean... that name. Mag Magomed? <laughs> Magomed? Sorry, uh, sorry Pop. Magomed? Hey, him and Khabib, man. They always mess me up. <laughs> but that's why. Let's be real. Let's be real. There's a reason why everybody calls him Zabit and Khabib. But Nurmagomedov. It's so true. No, honestly, Nurmagomedov rolls off the tongue like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> It does sound nice. It does sound nice. Yeah, you I'm know, saying. we're going to get there with the, the, the Magam, uh, the uh, Magam and Sherpop. We'll get there, Magam and Sherpop. Yeah. I'll get there. So, you I've know, been calling him beat the whole time, but he's a superstar now. We got to learn. We got to learn it. Yeah, we, we got to learn for sure. So, Cater comes in 22 and 4 record, 6 and 2 in the UFC. We saw him beat Danny Gay back in July. You know, this one's going to be unreal. It doesn't need any more hype. What do you got for me, man? Yeah, so you know what? Let's touch on Calvin Cater first. I just, okay. you know, that 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 loss is a big deal loss. We we touched on Zabit, and I think, like we said, Zabit was supposed to fight Yair Rodriguez, didn't 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 happen. Now we're waiting to see who he fights. But that man's elite. One loss on the record. So Calvin Cater is rebounding pretty well, if you ask me. You know, I think he's looked elite in the last few fights. The Dan Ige fight. Like Dan Ige is really quick. I think when you when you're able to land at that rate, given how how quick we can see Danny Gay move, it's a big deal. I, I love Calvin Cater in that mm. fight. We we bet on him. We won that. With no no question. Uh, it's yeah. one of those things where, you know, I don't like that he couldn't finish. The reason why I say that okay. is because who the hell wants to go five rounds with Max Mother with Max fucking Holloway? Holloway? You know, <laughs> Volkanovski is elite. You know, that's the thing. The thing yes. with Volkanovski is even if you want to doubt his win in the moment, go watch the fight. You know, he did do enough to, to get that win over Max the second time. And, you know, you can't play, you can't play favorites, right? If, if you're going to, if you're going to play the argument that you have to decisively beat the champ to take the belt, then that's what you have to do. You know, mm -hmm. you, that seems to be an unwritten rule in MMA. Yes. And, and that, that does play out. And so with the, in, in this case, yeah, is it going to be tough to, 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 to watch that? that I, mean, I, I don't know if I'll be more ag anxious as a fight fan in a third fight because <laughs> third fight, it's a fight, it's a big deal, right? That's a massive deal. But let's yes. talk about Max, right? The kid's a lead. Before his 30th birthday, the guy, the guy fought everybody. Five for every yeah. I mean, I will That's what's so crazy. He's 29 Fire, years old. What's like, that's crazy so nuts. Connor, bro. Every, every major fight fan wanted to talk so much shit about Connor, but not only did he do what he do for the areas that you want to make fun of him about, but the two guys that we're talking about right now when it comes to Max Holloway are both guys that, you know, Connor is Connor is fighting for it for the second time after beating him. If yeah. Connor ever fights Max Holloway again, he's gonna fight him for the first time after beating him. You know, they're yeah. really young at that time. So it's really interesting how to see all of that play out. We have some beautiful fighters in, in, in the realm of, of MMA to, to watch kind of come up. It, it, it's to me, I don't think there's a better, you know, circle of fighters and Calvin Cater is entering that realm of, of, of guys we have to watch long term. You know, I, if he even, yeah. you know, if he does lose the fight against Max Holloway, I, I just think the next fight's still going to be a top five, top 10 fighter. It's who he is. Mm -hmm. he, he go, if he goes lower, he's going to win the fight. It's, I think. <laughs> 
we've seen enough elite fight elite fighting out of him. Yeah, I, to know the, that he's he's just going to get the tough opponents it's, now. It's the pace, man. You know, he, this guy's going to just pepper him with pot shots all day long. Get in, get out. You have to get in on Max. You have to maybe take him down. You know, we were looking at some stats here, and frankly, like this fight is going to stay standing, right? Like, I don't see any way that these, these yeah. guys take it down. Take down defense on Max, eighty-three percent. Take down defense on Cater, eighty-eight percent. Like these guys want to bang. They, they want to bang. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, and it's what we want too. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, no, it's definitely not true. what we want too. I love some. Well, it's definitely what I want. Yeah. It's definitely what I want. Yeah, we know your love for Charles and company. So, my guy. Dropping the names. <laughs> so I'm curious to see where you think the line lands here because it, it's a pretty interesting one for sure. Yeah, so uh, it, it's tough to not give Maxi the line. Come on, man. How are you not going to give mm -hmm. the boy the line? You just got to give him the line. The, the line is the line. The line the line. But at the end of the day, I think it's just going to be in a close enough fight where I gave him minus 180. That's what I give Maxi. Minus 180, Ooh. final answer. Dude, I'm a clap for this one. No way. Oh, dude, minus 185, lead five basis points out of here, man. Okay, 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 okay. So, yeah, it, it did actually open at minus 185, and recently it's dropped, man. It's it's minus 170, and it kind of goes right in line with what you're saying here. Yeah, so so that's the thing, right? I, I think Hater has the elite skill. The thing is, is that you're watching Max come off two losses, right? But the thing is, Max mm -hmm. pushes pace. I just want to see if Cater is smart enough to not take the damage. Watch Cater when he wins fights. The face isn't looking the best. You know, you can't have that against Max. Max is yeah. going to throw twice as much for twice as long. Like, it just it, 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 It's what he does. You know, it's really For sure. Close. And that's where I just think like if you can get if you can get out of the way, block some of these shots, maybe try to just mix it up, you know, get in some grappling, all that kind of stuff. Just mix it up a little, you know, that you have to put champion level fighters off their game a little bit. And then I just believe if you go in there and try to play the pepper shot game, pot shot, all that kind of stuff, it's just you're, you're playing with fire, literally. Yeah. Absolutely. And so the one thing I was going to ask you and just analyzing these lines and seeing where the true value is, is do you think either of these guys can finish? See, the thing with Max is he's got the, the Max, if he finishes, like this is where I would, uh, as a fight fan who's betting, you know, the, the late finish on Maxi just looks so pretty, right? Because I believe mm -hmm. Cater's got chin. I don't think he's going to lose by finish i, I just yeah. yeah exactly right but now we got five round fight against a guy like maxi it's just a whole different ball game you know it's okay. just, i just i just think that the amount of damage that cater might have to take if he doesn't get some good work in early might be the most he's ever seen in a fight right like that's that that that, okay. that, that wouldn't be hard to argue right that that's my biggest thing is beat was a tough competitor for him but Max is a, is is is, is a is another beast. Yeah, like, yeah. let's let's be real. You kind of mentioned how you know the last two fights were championships. I mean, when you really look at it, what was it? Last eight. You know, you beat Pettis, and then after that, it's just Aldo, Aldo, Ortega, Poirier, Frankie, Volkanovski, Volkanovski. The Poirier loss is lightweight title <laughs> shot anyway, right? So. It's oh, insane. crazy. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> it's pretty insane. So yeah, I mean, I guess the one thing that stood out to me is you know Max minus one seventy favorite, plus one forty on Cater. But if you look at the knockout or finish, Max is plus 350, while Cater's wow. plus 333. Like, he's less than Max, even though Max is heavily favored in the fight. Like yeah, so so here's the thing. Like, this is so weird, but I'm going to take, you know, a stab at explaining that. I really am, because it kind of lines up with what I was saying, right? I just think Cater does have elite potential, man. Some of the shots that he's able to throw, these elbows, these sneaky shots, it's just... You're questioning the pace and the speed. That's what you're questioning. You're questioning his ability to okay. take Max Holloway's damage into later rounds. That's what you're questioning. Mm -hmm. But Cater's ability is what's unquestionable. If he lands the shots that he needs to, especially when he has everything, you know, 100% energy, like it's a video game kind of thing. I mean, yo, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. You know, that this is yeah. the guy that, that, that's been able to kind of really impress with those kinds of shots and steal fights and steal rounds, that kind of thing. Um, like I said, the thing is, he doesn't look the cleanest when, when he's when he's winning these fights, <laughs> raising his hand. Like there's damage there, and that's what he needs to avoid. But that has a lot to do with his ability to find those shots and to be able to lay out. Mm. But I think like the closest there, you know, I, I hate to say it, but I, I kind of, you know, what what is the uh, rounds uh, 
three, four, five finish for Max. Let's go four, five championship rounds. Ooh, ooh. I don't even know if you want to know these numbers, man. You're going to end up just laying shit all night, yo. But round three is plus 2,000. Yeah, round four. Four is plus thirty three hundred, and round Ooh. five is plus, plus thirty three hundred. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect the thirties. That I, I didn't expect the thirty three hundred. That's what I'm saying. Yo, that's yo for four and five. Yo, wait, 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 wait. You're saying that four and five is higher Are than three. Thirty three to one. Yep, thirty three to one. Versus you said two. Two thousand twenty to one. Oh, uh, yo, obviously, bro. We're sprinkling both of those. <laughs> That, 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 does, that Damn, add, does that so add, yo, does that add up to you? Though that that change in 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 in, in odds. No, and none, none of these finish lines make sense to me. Okay, like, so so you know what, man? Like, like off I think, with these. So so you know what? Let's discuss uh, when then we'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. So you know that wraps up UFC Fight Island Seven. It's going to be a great card. Can't wait for this one. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. We got our Instagram, our Twitter, all that information there. Give us a shout. We look forward to hearing from you. Siraj, always a beauty, man. Always a beauty, man. I can't believe the first card of the year went so well. I, I literally had goosebumps for the last hour. It's like freezing cold in here. You know, I just, yeah, I'm so excited. We got it. We got it done really early. We're going to be able to maybe analyze some lines based on, you know, weigh-ins and all those kinds of things. Maybe there's some late minute changes. Who knows? You know, we're going to have to keep our ear to the ground and just keep it rolling, baby. You know what time it is. For sure. Stay tuned for that content. So let's go, bro. Let's go, baby. Keep it real. Keep it locked. Peace. <laughs>